Macro. So and then we're just going to go to do Meiji. Peter Butler has only been in Botswana eight months, and already the Englishman who played for both West Ham and West Brom is making an impact as coach of the country's football team. But having guided Botswana into the AFCON qualifying group stage, the Zebras have since struggled, losing their first two group games, albeit to Senegal and Tunisia. But Butler maintains this is a side moving in the right direction. I think we've made massive progress. We have. I think, I think the public know that and, and everybody knows that. You know, we've, we've, we've got results. We've, uh, we've gone to Burundi and we've gone to Guinea-Bissau, very difficult places with young team and a new team. Um, we've, we've blooded young players who are 19, 20, 21. And we are, we're, a, we're, a, we're a team, we've, we've probably got maybe quarter, you know, less than probably a quarter of a million people playing football in this country. Oh. So I think we have made good progress. However, we've got a long way to go. Next up for Botswana, the daunting prospect of hosting seven-time continental champions, Egypt. The last time the two sides met, Botswana managed a share of the spoils in a 1-1 draw in Cairo last year. But with Egypt also having lost their opening two group qualifiers, the Botswana players know this match will pose a huge test. Yeah, the loser goes home, so it's going to be a very, very, very difficult game. Uh, it's going to be tough because we have to get something out of this or we are doomed. They're going to come here firing from all centers because they need the points. They're not doing well. We're not doing well. So it's a crucial game for both teams. Despite an obvious gap in resources and recognized international talent, the Botswana camp remain confident. They feel they can get the victory and keep alive their hopes of reaching just their second ever AFCON going to work very hard to get the result on this game because for us we really need the, the, the three points so that we can take it forward and you know it's not going to be good if we, we, we drop points now and then uh, people will start saying it's only competing Tunisia and Senegal we have to push them to the last day. Given so much is on the line and that a draw will suit neither side this match promises to be something special. Botswana hope it will be a sellout and if they can make home advantage pay here then it will really set them up for the return fixture next week. Dan Williams, CCTV, Khabarone, Botswana.